Remember, the first step to successful performance in the assessment center is being prepared for the real job. Treat the assessment center like it's truly a day in the firehouse. Not a test, but just a day at work. They want you to do well. They're on your side. They've been in your shoes before and they're really rooting for you. At the moment of truth, you will not rise the level of expectation. You'll fall at the level of your training. Greetings. My name is Battalion Chief Anthony Castros and it is my distinct honor and pleasure to talk to you today about the assessment center process. What is an assessment center? Well, it's used for promotion to all kinds of ranks in today's fire service and you're going to be seeing it more and more throughout the country. It's becoming much more common. An assessment center is truly a day in the life of the officer, rank, or position that you're aspiring to. You must perform or demonstrate the knowledge, skills, and abilities, or KSAs, for the job you're seeking. These KSAs are what I call the muscles or horsepower of being a good officer. It's very different from an interview. You cannot bluff your way through an assessment center. In an interview, you can easily tell a panel that you have certain skills. In an assessment center, you have to actually perform and show those skills. So, the best way to prepare for an assessment center is to prepare for the job itself. Don't just focus on the test, focus on the job. So, in this particular video, we're going to talk about the assessment center simulation exercise. With that in mind, we need to talk about the operational triangle. That operational triangle is comprised of incident command systems, tactics and strategy, and standard operating procedures. Proper preparation will help you develop your system and become a better officer, which is what I really want for you in this video. Not just become a better test taker, but become a better and outstanding officer. Let's talk about the focus of this particular video, which is the emergency or fire ground simulation exercise. It's the most common exercise in fire department assessment centers, and it's typically for suppression positions. It can be any type of incident that your department responds to. Residential or commercial structure fires, wildland fires, aircraft incidents, hazardous materials responses, multi-casualty incidents, and even high-rise. The question for you is, what type of incident do you respond to in your fire department? It's often the most difficult for aspiring officers. Why? Number one, it's not real world. Number two, you have to actually verbalize your thoughts and actions throughout the process. You may or may not have radio traffic to cue you, and your nerves could get the best of you. You have to respond to a two-dimensional simulation, which is totally different than the real world. And finally, it's a new position for some of us. We've never been in a position to give orders, only take orders. So what are the rules for this thing called a simulation exercise? That's what we're going to focus on in this video.